In order to set up the product and collection cards, scroll down, click Theme Settings, scroll down again, and click Product and Collection Cards. The Product and Collection Cards section is one of style, flexibility, and power. Let's scroll down and see some of those cards now. So these are some of the examples of the product and collection cards found throughout your theme or throughout your site, right? So we have some here. And if we scroll down some more on this homepage, we will find some more even here. But you can find it all throughout the different pages of your site. So when we go up, let's go to the first set right here. We can change some of the settings in this section. So in, layout sec in the layout settings, it asks, how many cards do you want per row? And this is for desktop, right? So right now we have four cards. And we could see it here, and we could also see it there, right? But we can change it to five. So when we, when we change it to five, we see five cards in a row here. And if we don't have any more, it'll just end after the end of the row. You see, so instead of it showing five cards here, it only shows three out of the five and it's just showing the empty space. So we want it to be very clean, so I'll change this back to four. We also have the option if we want to set it to three, but I'll leave it at four. We can also change how many cards can show per row on mobile. So right now we're in desktop mode, so we won't be able to see anything, so I will go up, click, right? And this is where you can change to mobile mode or also a full screen. I'll click mobile. So now we can have a mobile representation of how our site will look. And I could choose if I want two cards to show or one. I'll choose one. All right, so that's how it will look with one row. That looks pretty clean. And then we also have the option to go back to two. Cool. And this allows you to be able to show more, right? And see if you don't have any more twos, right? So if you can't get all two together, then here you will just have one by itself, right? All right, so let's go back into desktop. So now what if we want some space between these cards because they're pretty close. You see, they're pretty close together. We can move this slider. So if we move it up, it increases the space that's between the cards. I'll zoom in with my Mac. You see, you could see just a little bit, right? There's a little bit more space than there was. We can go crazy, I'll zoom all the way out, and we can go all the way. And see, there's even more space, if we can see, between the different cards. But we could also move it down lower, but I'll move it back to where it was, about here. All right? And that seems like it fits a little bit more. Get what fits and works best for you. All right, so now we go down to the card image fit. And the image fit is all about figuring out how you want your product card or your collection card images to fit, right? So right now it's saying adjust ratio to fill empty space and crop image. What if we move it to preserve ratio? You see it kind of changes around. This one stays the same, but the rest of them kind of shrink. You see that? They shrink a bit and they're showing more of the bottom. If you want that, you can go for it. Like this has a countdown showing now because there's more space and these just push the image all the way to the very top. But I don't really like it with my situation. So I'm gonna move this back to adjust ratio to fill empty space. Boom, and you see it's taking up more of the space and it looks a lot better for me. If I go down, I see the countdown timer on some of these images here. Remember, the countdown timer only shows when an item is in a sale. And I also like how that looks, so I'm going to leave it that way. All right, let's scroll down now to the card image ratio. In the card, in the card image ratio, you're able to change your card image ratio. So right now it's set for two by three. Let's go to three by four. All right, you see how it's shrunk down a bit? All right, you can mostly make it out with these because you can see where the white is right here and then the image right above it. But that made a change. Um, let's try now, let's try out one by one right now. Okay, one by one, I see even a smaller change with this. 
but it does make a change to how our images look. Let's go to 4x3. Wow, 4x3 shrinks it even more. So, I mean, it gives you options, and you could choose which one works best for your specific situation. Um, but there also is a custom ratio. So I'll click that. And the custom ratio, you see how it shrunk it down some more? It allows us to change the width and the height. Remember, the width is how wide something is, and the height is how tall it is. So you can change, you know, to 10 or, you know, whatever fits. So you can customize it with the custom ratio to be able to figure out what would work best. So I changed this back to two by three and let's go to the product card settings. So in the product card settings, I'm gonna change the product card type from default to let's try catalog. All right, we see a bit of a change. We don't see the add to cart button but we still see like countdowns here. And remember countdown shows when an item is on sale. Let's go down to the other section down here. We see it removed add to cart. Go back up. Let's try now looking at um, show the button on hover. Okay, we'll show the button on hover. Let's hover. Cool, and we see add to cart. Hover again, we see add to cart and also these options to change the different items in the gallery, right? Let me see, add to cart. It looks really nice. I really like this one. Let's try another setting. Slide the button on hover. All right, let's slide the button on hover. I'm gonna hover. Let me see the button slide up. Cool, it still allows us to be able to click and go, th and go through like the slideshow of the different images of the product. But we get that cool slide up whenever we hover on an image. We also have hide buttons. And hide buttons, if we hover, we don't see anything. Feels kind of similar to catalog, you know, with a few maybe some slight changes, but really cool. So I'll revert this back to default. Remember, choose whatever, remember, choose whatever product card type works best for you. But now I'm gonna go to make the card button full width. Full width means fully wide. It should go from one side to the other. So I'll click it, and in full width, we see that our button goes from one side to the other side. I scroll down, one side to the other side. I like it, so I'll leave it like that, but you can deselect it if you want it to stay how it was before, where it's kind of about this size. Now, do we want to show the product gallery instead of a single image? We clicked yes, that was the default, right? And it allows us to scroll and click through the different images, right? But we can deselect it. And that just shows this single image by itself. When we hover over it, it zooms into that image. But we could also choose to get that, uh, click that to, we can also choose to make sure this is selected and then it'll allow us to be able to cycle through the different images for a specific product. We can also show secondary product image on hover. So I can click this. Remember there's a little disclaimer here. It says this doesn't work with gallery cards, right? This above setting. So if this is selected, this one won't work. So now that we have this one deselected, let's try it out. It should hover. And then when we hover over it, it should cycle through the different images. I'll go to the one down here. See, when we hover over it, it cycles through a different image. That's really cool. See, right now we're not seeing it on these items, but we're seeing it on the sale items. All right, so what about text alignment? What if we want to move the text from being on the right to, let's say, the center? So we can center it. We can also make it to the left. See? And it goes to the left. We can click to show the product's brand name by clicking this. See? And it shows the brand name. It kind of looks weird on the left. Um, so I'll center that. So on mine, I have it centered. Um, if it works best on the left or the right, you can choose whichever one works better for your situation. We could also click to show review stars. 
So yeah, it allows us to show our reviews. If there's if there's a review on a product, it will show here. Or if we have a review we did ourselves, it'll also show here. And we know that if there are review stars, users generally say, oh, a lot of people have bought this and they like it, I'll buy it too. So if possible, it'd be cool to have this on, but if not, set whatever works best for your situation. Let's go down. Um, we now have our product card typography settings, right? This can be optional. And if we don't have anything set, like it says here, like if we have no color set, it will go to the default. So here we can customize it and specialize it for our specific situation. So I'll click product vendor color and I'll choose this to be, let's say red. Okay, so with the product vendor color, it would make our product vendor color red. So I'm gonna turn this to none for now, but you can choose whatever color works best and it will set that for your product vendor color. I can also change the product vendor weight from normal to let's say semi-bold, bold or thin. I'll try bold. See, and our product vendor changes to black and also bold. Let's see, this allows us to customize to how we, how we want it to feel. We can also move it to thin if we want. See, it'll make it like that. But we can cycle through and choose what we want, uh, what fits best. So we can also change the product name color. So we can change it to, let's say like blue or something. And see here, we can see our product name colors, that they're blue. So we can change this to whatever color fits best. For our name weight, we can change it from normal. Similar as vendor weight, we can change it to normal, semi-bold, or bold. I'll change it to semi-bold. See, and it adds a little bold on there. We can change it to bold. See, and it makes it even more bold. So we can cycle through and choose which one works best. Uh, we can also choose to limit the product name length. Right now it is, that's why we're seeing the dots at the end of this, right? Showing that there's more words. So we can not limit it, see? And it shows the full name for it. If I scroll up, we'll also see it here. We'll see the full name. So we have the full name here. We can also change it to character. So see, we can also choose to limit it by characters. Right now we're seeing just these three dots, but that's because right here we haven't set our limit amount. So we can actually set our limit amount in limit by characters and it'll allow us to show as many characters as we wish by moving this slider. See, and now we say, okay, 74, and then any characters up to 74 will be shown. All right, so we could also scroll down and change the product price color. We can change this to, let's say red, so it stands out. Boom, so then we have this price color and even the word from as well in red. Or we can change it to whatever color fits or if we set it to none, it'll just go to the default, which I believe is black. And we could also do some other things like change the product price weight, right? Similar like changing the name weight and also the vendor weight. And you know, when you click it, it gives you four options to make it thin, normal, semi-bold, or bold. We can also check, we can also set a color for the old product price, so this right here. So the default is gray. We can change it to, um, let's say, blue. See if you see it, it looks kind of, um, the color might not be the best, but you can customize this to whatever works best. Um, you could also, change how it looks, the weight of it. So thin, normal, bold, I'll go to thin. See, and it makes it smaller. Um, we could also go to new product price color and change it. So we can say, let's say green. Isn't that interesting? So we have our product price color and then we have new product price color so we can overwrite this. See, it doesn't change for these, but it changes for these. We can also as well change the new product price weight. So similar just like the old product price weight and the ones that we, we mess with above, we can do it here and customize this to whatever works best. 
but we also have the collection card settings. But we're in the product page. So we need to change pages and go to the collection page. Cool, so now we're on the collection page and it shows all of our collections. We could choose Alter C All Products, just a specific collection, or you know, so many more different things. So what we're gonna do is we're going to customize our card collection type. So right now, it's default. But what if we wanna change it to match what we did in the product page, where we have it set up where you can see everything on hover? We can click that. So now when you hover over an item, you see how it shows it now? I think that's really cool. But see, it also now matches our product page. And what you want to achieve with your store is you want it to feel seamless. So as they go from one page to another page, it feels like it's supposed to be that way, you know, because they saw it in a different section. You don't want it to appear one way on one section and then not appear the same way in the other. So that's something you can customize and really change within the collection card settings to match the product card settings. We can also change the text color. Right, it's black right now. We can click this and choose it to whatever color we want. We could also move the text alignment to the left, to the center, or the right. All right, so you could choose this text to align it to the bottom, to the top, or to the middle by clicking this. You could also choose to change the text size, which is really cool. So you can move it from base to really big or medium or small, but I'm gonna leave it at base because it fits pretty well. Maybe we can try small, let's try small. See, it fits pretty well no matter what. So we're gonna leave it at small, but we can change it to whatever you know we want in this section with these. Uh, we can choose to change the custom text size here by moving this slider up or down, I'll move it up. And see, we will see this change if we select custom here. But I left it on small so we can't see that, so we won't see that change. Okay, for text font, we can change it from title to base. I'm gonna leave it at title. And we could change that text background and put a background behind the text with this setting. And we could also add an overlay opacity, which I think is really powerful. So I could click this I could go to black. Cool, so we can set an overlay color and if we move the slider, let's say to 50 or 100 or 30, it'll add an overlay to match that color on this image. So it'll make it um, stand out better. So it can make this darker or lighter based on whatever color we choose. I have black, but we can choose just about any color under the sun. We could make it even red if we want to but it's something we could definitely do to customize things and make it more attractive for our users. Thank you for watching this video. Please refer to our help center for more information.